I'm going to start sanding the uh, black paint off of the Bozak. I'm going to do one speaker first. What I'm going to be doing is using my orbi orbital sander in 220 grit paper. What I did on the side that you that you see on the right here is I used the orbital sander carefully to remove the top kind of a top the top layer of paint and then I grabbed some 150 grit sandpaper and got <clears throat> uh, any remaining uh, uh, paint off of the cabinet. You know, using the orbital sander, you've got to be careful not to burn through the veneer. Uh, this speaker had a chip. It's got a chip down here. Uh, I, I actually, I think I burned through the veneer up there a little bit. But, you know, these speaker cabinets are not perfect, so I'm not super concerned. If I was, I would just re-veneer them because there's there are chunks of veneer missing here and there. I'll probably use uh, the 150 grit sandpaper and just hand sand the fronts. I don't know yet if I'm going to sand that inner edge there or if I'm going to keep it black. If I keep it black, I'm going to have to put uh, black grill cloth on it. If I if I am going to go with like a brown or something like that, I'll probably have to sand that inner edge just to make it make sense, I guess. So what I'll do is I'm going to sand this down, and then I'll show you what the what the raw walnut looked like, and then I'll hit it with a coat of Danish oil. Uh, I'll probably end up doing five or six coats of Danish oil. Um, I apply it with uh, steel wool, and. Uh, yeah, so my goal is to get this sanded today and then, then at least one coat of Danish oil on it and kind of show you the, the you know, close to the finished product. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll pick this up after I have sanded the cabinets down. So the top layer of uh, paint is off. As you can see, I've got a couple little spots I want to hand sand. I think... Uh, there might have been a little bit of, I think I burned through the veneer right there, but it's got a little, uh, a little overzealous with the sander, but I might be able to darken that up a little bit. So what I'll do now is I'll take some 150 grit sandpaper like this and kind of get rid of like these little black spots. Got a couple of them here. Got this corner. I'm not even going to repair that corner. I don't... I mean, these speakers are what they are. I don't know that I want to re-veneer them. I mean, I could. And I have in the past on speakers built those up with some wood filler and then, uh, you know, re-veneered the whole thing. But, you know, <clears throat> these are old speakers. Somebody definitely used them. My camera's a bit crooked, isn't it? Or maybe it's just the speaker. Anyway, um, I'm going to jump in and hand sand this. And uh, then we're going to move it off of the bench and do the top. All right, so uh, <clears throat> it's been sanded. I have a couple of little spots here and there. I gotta get this. Uh, the problem is wherever there's a chip in the veneer, wherever there's a chip in the veneer, there is a, uh, you know, the paint just kind of gets sucked right into it wherever there's a scratch in the veneer. So uh, I, <laughs> You know, I, I'm not going to re-veneer these, at least right now. I'm not planning on doing that. I do want to get some Danish oil on this and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, the top was pretty beat up. These two strips here have some chunks missing out of them. What I want to do is just, I just want to see what it looks like when I get the Danish oil on it and see if I can darken up some of the, the lighter spots where uh, the veneer is missing. And again, you know, I, I, and I wouldn't mind doing these, these two little strips on the top. I've got veneer to do that. So, yeah, so anyway, that's what the uh, that's what the walnut looks like. Uh, kind of raw or unfinished or unpainted. So let me throw some uh, Danish oil on here and uh, show you what it looks like. Danish oil has been applied. Now, are these perfect? No. Were they perfect when I got them? No. Uh, this is just one coat. This is the initial coat of Danish oil. Uh, I did burn through the veneer right there a little bit. 
I think uh, they look. Move this up a little bit. I think they look much better, even with the imperfections in the in the veneer. Uh, if you compare the painted Bozaks to the, I'll say quote unquote finished Bozaks, I think these look better. Uh, really, not much I'm going to be able to do with. Unless I re-veneer it, or at least uh, patch some of these spots where the veneer is missing. I don't think I'm going to go that crazy with these. I don't, I personally don't care. These are going to become mine once I go through this. I may re-veneer them someday. That's always going to be an option. Uh, the tops aren't in horrible shape. You know, the problem with that paint was wherever, and I think I mentioned in the last segment, wherever there was a scratch, a chip, the paint just was like sucked into that crevice and it just stuck to either the uh, the particle board or you know it just got sucked down in that crack and what I was trying to do here was get rid of a uh, kind of a chunk of black paint I think that black paint was probably where there was a, a ding or a chip like out of the 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 upper layer of the veneer if, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of a fun project. It took me about an hour to do the first beer. You know, I've, I had an hour to kill today. Uh, I'll have an hour tomorrow or another day this week where I'll do the other one. Uh, again, I don't know. Right now, I don't intend on re these. I do intend on putting more coats of Danish oil on them to at least protect what finish they have. But uh, I think it, they're much better. I mean, you know, I don't they look much more presentable than these painted black, <laughs> you know, basement garage speakers. I'm going to try to work on uh, on uh, sucking the dust covers out, you know, pulling the pulling the dust covers out a little bit. See if I can clean them off with a uh, with a brush very carefully, clean off the cones and then, uh, you know, down the road, maybe sooner rather than later, I'll make some. Uh, Grill covers and then it, and get some cloth and attach them. I did that for the Wharfdale, so it's not like it's something I haven't done before. But I'll get to that. I'll I'll shoot that uh, that part of the project if and or when I get to it. So the next uh, segment will be me uh, just showing you the finished product on the left speaker, right? So this was the before and after. Let me see if I can show you the sides right? before and after on the painted Bozaks. And there's the Dynaco. That's been recapped and redone and I'll, I've, I've got to finish that segment up too. So anyway, unless I've already released it, I, I have so many videos queued up it's not even funny. I'm sitting here the 31st of October and I have content queued up through the end of January. And that's releasing a video every other day. So hopefully it uh, continues to be this busy. But anyway, um, I'll see you in the next uh, the, the next little segment with the left speaker uh, sanded and with a coat or two of Danish oil. So here's uh, probably why they were painted. So I started sanding the paint off of this other speaker and noticed this discoloration. And uh, there's like some raised areas here. So something leaked on here at some point in time, and rather than re-veneer, right, they painted them. So what I think I'm going to do, I do have some sheets of veneer, but they're small, and I would use them for maybe the, the sides here. Uh, I usually have a couple of larger sheets of veneer on hand, so I need to order some anyway. So I'm going to order something to at least put on the top here. I'll just pull this old veneer off. So pull that off, or I, mean, I guess I could, well, I, I prefer to pull it off. So I'll pull the old veneer off. Once I get that in, uh, I probably need to continue sanding just to see what else is going on with this speaker. That's probably the reason, though. That's probably why they were painted. So anyway, just wanted to kind of um, let you know what was going on with this. I may stop uh, the series, so this might be the end of part one. Right while I'm waiting for some stuff to come in, or the veneer to come in for this, and then we'll pick it up in part two. That's probably what I'll do. 
So anyway, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you all in part two.